Hi, in this tutorial we will talk about how we can visualize the three-dimensional structure of the protein in our local machine. To visualize the three-dimensional structure of the protein in your local machine, you need to install some appropriate software. There are many different softwares which are available in, in, on the internet which you can use to visualize the three-dimensional structure of the protein. For example, Chimera, for example, Pymol, and many other. In this tutorial, we are going to use the Pymol for the visualization of three-dimensional structure of the protein. There are the two different versions of the Pymol which are available. The one is for the educational purposes and this is free of cost. And second is for the commercial purposes and obviously you need to pay for it. For this tutorial, we are going to use the Pymol which is for the educational purposes. To download the Pymol for the educational purposes, you need to click on this link. And when you will click on this link, you will move to the next page and here you are going to find out a registration page. Here you have to register yourself with your academic ID. We hope so that you would have an idea about the academic ID. The academic email IDs are actually those one which are going to end up with .edu. So if you have an academic ID, you can register yourself here on this website and then you will have the email link through which you can download the PyMall for educational purposes only. Once you have a PyMall installed in your system, when you will click on this one, so then you will have the two windows uh, for the PyMall. This window, which is white in color, this window is a control panel, while this black window is where you are going to visualize your three-dimensional structure of the protein. Now to open the three-dimensional structure of your protein here in the PyMall, you need to click on the file and then you need to click on the open and then you have to go to the directory where the uh, three-dimensional structure file or the PDB file is, uh, is present. Right now we have a three-dimensional structure of the protein in download portion so we will right click on we will double click on the PDB file and then this PDB file will come here in front of us. Now there are the different standard ways to visualize the three-dimensional structure of the protein. Now if you want to visualize the three-dimensional structure of the protein in wire form, so by default the PyMol is, open, is going to open the three-dimensional structure of your protein in this wire form as you can see it here. In this PyMol, you can rotate the three-dimensional structure of protein in the three-dimensional space. You can zoom in by dragging it <coughs> and you can zoom out by dragging out. Similarly, you can also change the appearance of your three-dimensional structure from this wire shape to some other standard format. Now to change the shape of your protein structure, what you need to do, you need to click on your right hand side and on your right hand side there are the certain buttons available. The A button, S button, H button, L and C. We will talk about these buttons in, in detail later on, but right now we are going to talk about the S button. So when you will click on this S button, so then this S represents the show and then you will come the as and then you will come to the sticks and when you will click on the sticks now the representation of the three dimension structure is changed from wire or the line format to this sticks format let's assume that this is not uh, your interest representation of the three dimension structure of protein and you want to visualize the alpha helix and the beta sheets which are present in your protein structure. So then you need to come again to the S, then as, and then you need to click on this cartoon. When you will click on this cartoon, then you can see it here, then the protein three-dimensional visualization is changed. And now here you can visualize 
the alpha helix, the beta sheets, and the loops which are present in your three-dimensional structure. Let's assume that again you are not interested in this one but you are interested in a ribbon form of the three-dimensional structure of your protein. So you will con again come to go to the S then you will as and then the ribbon so this is a ribbon form of the three-dimensional structure of protein in this ribbon form there is just a backbone of the three-dimensional structure of the protein we hope so that you would have a good idea about the backbone of the protein structure let's assume that you want to visualize this three-dimensional structure in a sphere form so then you need to click on the as once again and click on the sphere so when you will click on the sphere you will have the three dimensional structure of your protein in this sphere form here in this sphere form each atom is um, each atom is going is represented in the form of a ball and the size of the ball is letting us know about its uh, wonder wall um, Now let's assume if you want to uh, uh, see the protein structure and uh, the surface of the protein structures so in this case again you will come to the as and then you will click on this surface and when you will click on this surface after a few moments the surface representation of your protein will come in front of you. Uh, it may take some time. And here you can see the surface of your three-dimensional structure of a protein. The surface model is very handy when you want to observe the cavities and the charges at the surface of your protein. And the understanding of these cavities or the finding of these cavities is very important when you are going to perform the docking analysis. Normally the ligands are going to bind at the cavities at the surface of the protein. So I, we hope so that uh, so far you will have a good idea that how you can visualize the three-dimensional structure of protein in a different form using a pi mole. See you next time.